five, a teen murder suspect in St. Johns County will be spending the rest of the month right here in Central Florida. Investigators say Aiden Fucci stabbed his classmate to death. Authorities were searching for 13-year-old Tristan Bailey on Sunday after she was reported missing that morning. Her body was found that night less than a half a mile away from the suspect's home. We'll go back to another video. It's the one and only pocket. And yes, guys, this is an insane story right here. So a 13-year-old girl by the name of Tristan Bailey, rest in peace, has been stabbed to death. And, you know, allegedly it was her uh, classmate. And there's a lot of proof behind this. So we're going to talk about this. I do want to say that this video is not going to be monetized, guys. I know what it's like to lose somebody. And, you know, to the family, that would just be very disrespectful. And obviously just, you know, using somebody else's death as, you know, a way to profit is just ridiculous to me. I just want to make a video about this to, you know, spread the situation and just talk about this. So let's get right into it. Now investigators say evidence connects Fuji to the murder. New 6 is Nadine Giannis has been following this story for us. Nadine, he faced a judge in Volusia County today. That's right, Lisa, and that's because where deputies say this murder happened in St. John's County, which is just south of Jacksonville, there's no juvenile detention center. Instead, Volusia County serves teen cases, both from St. John's and Flagler County. This case coming to Central Florida today, the 14-year-old facing a judge in Volusia County for second-degree murder, his parents in the virtual courtroom. As now, I know I said he allegedly did it, but no, he actually did. Like, this kid is sick in the head. He literally went up and stabbed this girl. Like, he literally did it. I, I, I'm assuming because she didn't give him what she wanted or, like, didn't want to date him or something. So he was like, you know what, let's talk about this or just went to her house or something, right, and just stabbed her point blank, man, and just killed her. Like, that is so sickening to me. And imagine being this kid's parents, you know. Imagine, you know, growing up, uh, getting married, and then having a kid, and then, you know, your kid does this to you. Like, it's just, it's sick, bro. It's sick. As well. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God. With his hand raised high, 14-year-old Aiden Fucci faced a judge in Volusia County today for the murder of his classmate, 13-year-old Tristan Bailey. Found dead in St. John's County Sunday night hours after her parents reported her missing. Her body found 0.3 miles from the young man's house, according to a new arrest report released today. Also today, the medical examiner confirming she was stabbed and had trauma to her head. You guys see what he looks like? He's genuinely a little kid. This is a little kid, bro. Like, I cannot believe he did this. And I feel so bad for her parents, like so, so bad. Like losing somebody is so tough. It's so tough. But losing somebody who's very young is the hardest thing, especially for a parent, man. It, you'll just never get that closure. And I just feel so terrible for her parents. This is terrible, guys. This is a messed up situation. And this kid, like, well, let's just hear what's about to happen. Let's hear it. Head. Fucci looking up with tears in his eyes as the judge read his charge this morning. Mr. Fucci, you're charged with... Um, with second degree murder. His parents, both in the virtual courtroom. I love how he's crying. I seriously love how he's crying. Nah, dude, that's not right, bro. The fact that you're crying, no, you can't cry. You cannot cry after what you did. You're crying because he feels bad. You know, he doesn't care about the girl or whatever. He's crying because he knows his life is about to end. You know, his life is he's about to be booked. And apparently he's facing charges up to life. And I don't blame them, bro. Like, what is wrong with this kid? You got to be sick in the head to do this at the age of 14. And then his parents, oh, man, let's just see what his parents' reaction is. His mother also seemingly upset. The tears here different than what deputies confirm is Fuji seen in this Snapchat now widely shared, showing the teen without handcuffs holding up a peace sign with the caption, quote, hey guys, has anybody seen Tristan lately? Yeah, it's I feel terrible hard. for his parents, but is this kid really wiping his tears away after that caption he just said? Are you actually serious? Like, I'm seriously pissed off. Has anybody seen Tristan lately? Dude, you think you're the hardest shit alive, huh? You really think you're the hardest shit alive, and now you're crying like this, bro? I cannot believe people like this. I seriously cannot believe this. This is probably, like, the sickest thing I've seen all year, guys, honestly. And there's been a lot of insane crimes that have happened, but, like, knowing that this is from a child and the fact that he's going to go on Snapchat and try to flex it... This is unreal. This is unreal. This is disgusting. And lately, it's now part of the three-day-old investigation, which an arrest report read a search warrant found clothes with blood on them in Fucci's bedroom. This while the 13-year-old's family has asked for privacy, and the tight-knit St. John's community grieves the young girl's death. Justice is being served. However, we know the, the, the community is angry. This is a very tight-knit community. Yo, this hurts me. This really, really hurts me, man. Like, the fact that the community is gathering for this, I respect that a lot. Um, and her parents, you know, I totally understand, you know, why they just want to, you know, chill and, you know, uh, be able to mourn, you know. And it's 
it's tough, bro. I really, really know what it's like to lose somebody, especially close to you. And then, you know, having it be your kid, man, at this young of an age for something so stupid, it makes just no sense, seriously. And this kid, he deserves all the prison time he gets. I hope they try him as an adult. I really, really do. So 14-year-old Aiden Fucci will now be staying behind bars at the juvenile detention center in Volusia County for the next 21 days, awaiting either additional or upgraded charges. Now, there is a call from the community to try Fucci as an adult. The petition signed by thousands and why social media could be complicating this investigation. Ahead in my story at 6. You know, I really hope the community gets him to do it. Guys, sign the petition if you guys disagree with everything he's done and you want to see this kid get tried as an adult. I think he deserves it. It has over 717,000 signatures. I will leave that in the description, guys, as one of the first links. You know, once again, rest in peace to Tristan Bailey. My condolences go out to her family. This never deserves to happen to anybody, you know. This is one of the sickest things I've ever seen, and it just breaks my heart, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a heart for Tristan, guys. You know, just go sign the petition, you know, go sign it, guys. Really, really go sign it. It would mean a lot to me if you disagree with, um, obviously, you should disagree. If you don't disagree with this, we have an issue, but I don't think many of you guys, or any of you guys would do that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this. It's been your boy Pocket. I'm not going to promote myself. I am going to show some love, though, to the one and only Epic Haza Haza for the background gameplay. Go check him out down below in the, in the description as well under the petition. But that's going to do it for today. It's been your boy Pocket. I'll catch you all in the next one. Like we always say, Empire out.